running a little bit behind. Are we live yet? Did somebody shorten the... Yeah. Oh, you can fix it. You want me to fix it real quick? Hi, Erica. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Cindy. Um, hi, Christy Lee. Um, okay, so we are, um, today we're a little bit more frazzled than you, well, maybe not. Um, our air conditioner is leaking all over the classroom. So, um, so we're trying to fix that and all that good stuff. Um, hey, Norma. Okay, Norma, I'm going to demo um, a little bit of the chenille so you can see um, what I think you're asking. Um, good morning, Lynn. We'll see you tomorrow for the quail class. So first, um, I wanted to go over um, the koala challenge that we're doing. Um, so we kind of talked about for the last few months, but Lorraine Turner did a koala challenge to help a koala refuge in Australia. So we, of course, waited till the last minute, so it's due today. And so on Saturday, we came in, Christy Lee and I came in and we kind of played with some fibers and things. So, you know, for me, I like to use what's in the shop, not necessarily what I would choose to use, but I try to push myself to use different techniques and different products that I wouldn't normally um, kit and use, especially since we're not going to kit this. It's a one of a kind special, very special. Um, so what I did is I had some of this, and I'm not even sure, for those of you that are into wool, you might know what this is. I have no idea really. It just was fascinating and fabulous. So when Doris brought it in from her um, her own sheep down in Gardnerville, I um, just bought it. I don't know why not. Um, so I've had it for like a year thinking I was would felt with it or something, but I've never actually felt it. So I decided to just kind of experiment with it. And what I didn't realize is that when you stitch on this felted wool, it pretty much shrinks up. So my pattern pieces for my koala were all the right sizes of the pattern, but as I stitched it, and of course I didn't do like most of you when you stitch with felted wool, you have little needles and you do you just, you know, pound it in for hours or days. Of course I did mine like in five minutes. So I'm pretty sure it probably was not the right way to go about it. But this is what resulted of it. Betsy Peterson says hi. Hi, Betsy. So I, if I had time, which I probably don't, I would work on shading here because the two pieces, the arm and the body, just melted together. And I think that's just what happens when you're working with felted wool. So I probably need to go in with a darker wool here to give it a little bit of shading under the arm to, um, oh my God, I can't breathe. It's so hot in here, ladies, with no air conditioning. Um, do we have that box of uh, elastic, free elastic still? No, it's gone. Okay. That would be good. Um, okay, so um, so this is the, the rules of the, this koala was that you had to use Orifil thread, which I did. I used the um, 40 weight that's made for long arm machines, which I love when I'm doing thread painting because it's a little bit thicker than their normal 50 weight, so it covers quicker, faster, much better if you're in a hurry. Um, so this is just kind of our wild koala. Um, we get used fringe in his ears to give him kind of that look of hairiness. And um, every koala that I looked at was different. So some of them had blotchy faces, some of them, I mean, because it kind of looks like a skin disease to me, I just want him to just be pretty. But um, so, Anyhow, and then we had to use um, Lorraine Turner's fabric is here. All the fabric in the koala is the Lorraine Turner except for the felted wool. So then we just added some embellishments, some ribbons, some trims. Um, this here is what my avocados came in. It just gives it kind of a fun texture. And then this is the horses from the Lorraine Turner's line also. So it's just kind of a fun, um, a fun project. It kind of pushed me out of my box, made me use some different materials and things that I wouldn't normally use. These were the fabrics, and I love this line from the Calico Horses. Oops. 
super bright and cheerful and we do have some of it left as you can see but this here they go great together some cactus succulents this here is one of my favorites so we do have some of that not very much but we got a little bit of that left um okay let me see if there's any questions yes betsy he has um fuzzy ears um hey marilyn okay um all right so i'll read your emails for real this time and not just make up dates um okay so if any of you are watching oh my god i might be having a hot flash um if any of you are watching and you um uh want to be in the quail class tomorrow and you got the kit send um just comment that you want the link and i will give you a link to it um i hope they come and fix this air conditioning this afternoon um anyway so norma wanted to know about using the chenille on a daisy on some jeans that she's cutting up i think to put into a quilt i'm not sure cause she just called with questions like two minutes ago so she's going to um ask questions as i'm explaining the chenille it so chenille it looks like this mary says hi hi mary christy lee wants the link okay okay and cindy gygax hi shirley um okay so this is what chenille it looks like can you see that so here's a gray it kind of looks like bias tape a little bit it's a flat tape okay uh -huh. so what norma wants to do is she wants to sew it onto a flower probably a daisy to just give the project she's working on some extra texture so this is what i a little sample of what i did am i too close barbara regalado is watching hey barbara how are you mary i am dying right now um okay so this is I have one piece of fabric and then I have a second piece of fabric, the red fabric, and I just cut out kind of a random little rose and then I took the chenille it and I just laid it down in the center, kind of in a circle because um, there'd be more where it sprouts from and then just kind of went around it like this and then when I took the brush, so I didn't get this wet, I, didn't, I got it wet but I didn't wash it yet. So you can get a little chenille brush and you can get the, the chenille wet and then you just take this little brush and you just kind of go like this and aggravate it. So it's kind of definitely a cheater chenille. You're not having to lay down seven layers of the same fabric like we used to in the olden days. Um, so the chenille is a cheater way of doing chenille. So I think what you want to do, Norma, is I, I would probably do a white fabric in the shape, um, petals in the shape of the daisy, and then I would sew around the outside edge with a white chenille it. Hi, Mary. And um, then when you wash it, or you can use this little brush, and it will um, make the chenille kind of go crazy. So let me know if that answers your question. Um, okay. All right, Norma, do you have any more questions? I know there's a delay, so it's hard to, um, it's hard to kind of communicate this way. I love Zoom much more because it's instant. I'm kind of an instant kind of girl. Um, okay, so if there's any questions about um, anything, let me know. If you want the link to the quail class tomorrow, which is the applique, fusible applique class, I believe it's tomorrow morning, um, just put it in the link and I'll get it to you. Mary, they're supposed to have the air conditioning fixed before tomorrow if you want to come in and do the class. Um, hey, Gail. So I'm waiting for, I'm trying to not be rude, but I'm waiting for Norma to let me know if she has any questions about the chenille it. Um, but if I were, if I was her and I was going to put a daisy onto a jean quilt, I would trace the petals onto like a white fabric and then use the chenille it and stitch it down 
And you can see it's super easy. You just stitch right down the center of this. And then Roger, if you want to come here, you can see a, um, if you want to follow me, you can see we did a Peter Pan quilt that we bedazzled. And we also bedazzled this one. So this is just a cute little baby quilt that we did the chenille it. And um, we cut it, we sewed the chenille it in long strips, the width of our fabric, and then cut them into squares and then alternated them. And then the binding here is the 5 8 inch chenille it. Okay, let's see, and I'm gonna just show you the Peter Pan. So this is a Peter Pan panel right here that has no chenille it on it. And then we took the chenille it and sewed it onto here and washed it, which is what created that texture. So um, it's just, it's the same effect as when you uh, used to use seven panels or seven layers of the fabric and then cut them into parts and chenilled it. This is just a lot simpler with just one strand of that bias tape. Yes, Kathleen, lots of bags. They're not ready to go, but there are a lot of them. Mary Vita, you can totally do the roosters. You don't have to do the quail. And then Norma, call me with your questions. Because um, your phone's acting crazy. I typically wash, Christy, I wash the chenille it. But sometimes, like if you're doing an embroidery or if you're doing a um, art quilt, you don't necessarily want to wash the whole piece because you might have a lot of weird fibers. So if, you, if you're doing an art quilt, you wouldn't want to wash the whole piece. So then you would just use this brush. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Marilyn, you can do the hearts. That's so, fine. You know, Can I use a daisy material as a flower background and chenille the flowers? Yes. You could tell, hang on a second, let me find a daisy fabric. Am I supposed to follow? You don't have to follow me, I can come back. I can fix the camera. Norma, if you have a daisy fabric like this, you totally could lay the chenille it down around the edges and stitch it on. You'd want to probably fuse it onto your jeans and then stitch it down. All right. Any other questions, girls? Hey, Lynn, or Anne, I'm excited to see you. I'm going to send you the link for tomorrow. So get ready to do some applique tomorrow. Um, okay, so that is it for today. If you have any questions, let us know, and then we will try to answer them specifically. Um, and if you did the Koala Challenge, remember it's due today, so get it turned in. I think you have to download a Google Doc or something. I haven't gotten that far. Um, all right, we will see you girls soon. Talk to you later. Bye.